Well, Professor Mohan uh, Sani, uh, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be with you here today, and on behalf of our executive uh, members, uh, just want to thank you for your time and perspective. Uh, I know that you're a professor at uh, the Kellogg School at Northwestern, and uh, I know you've been recognized as one of the most influential people in e-business. Uh, uh, I was struck earlier uh, today by your comments, uh, and I think they probably pretend to people across industries and around the world, that there are strange people entering your business space. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I think that one of the uh, most misused words in business today is the word industry. You know, what industry are you in? And how do you even start to define that? So, really kind of, uh, and, and there's, a, there's, a, there's actually a theme that underlies this. If you look at digital technology, what digital has done as it has converged industries because all bits are bits are bits, right? So ultimately, and if you if you just think about the device that you're using to record an interview, uh, it, it, it represents a convergence between a camera, a phone, an organizer, a book, you know, a DVD player, uh, and so on and so forth. So as you think about how many how many functionalities have gotten squeezed into this thing we call the smartphone, then you start to realize, now wait a minute, I need to know about cameras, I need to know about books, I need to know about publishing, I need to know about video, I need to know about movie content as, as the provider of the ecosystem. And hence, you immediately start to realize, I don't know this stuff. The skill sets required are way too diverse for any company to go it alone. You know? So that's kind of a motivating insight behind saying that that uh, the reason strange people are entering into your business or your so-called industry is because of this uniform and unified platform, which is a digital platform. And uh, so now it is the barriers have fallen away. The silos have and the walls have gotten broken down which means everybody is open season for everybody to enter into everybody else's business. Uh, so hence you find strange bedfellows, strange competitors, and also strange contributors, people who can help you. That's where the power of sort of network innovation comes in, where you don't know who's gonna help you, uh, just like you don't know who's gonna compete with you. Okay, uh, and you know, uh, hearing your, your remarks earlier, um, I know that uh, part of that new um, entrant population uh, into business dialogue is the customer himself or herself. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about uh, the role that customers should play in innovating? See, so with the, what has happened with customers is that, that our traditional view of the customer was that they were uh, people we sold to. Uh, yes, we got some input from them up front and coming up with our products and services, but fundamentally the role of the customer was passive as a recipient of our products in the marketplace as well as the recipient of our marketing communications in the marketplace. Uh, but that's changed. Uh, this is something that um, the CEO of PNG Napoli used to talk about. He says that the, the consumer is now leaning forward. They are not meaning that. They are not just that. They want to be part of the conversation. They want to engage. And and, and even today we heard how uh, the speaker from GE was talking about how customers want to be part of that dialogue. They want to. They want. To, they want transparency. They want engagement. They want openness. They want to contribute to the dialogue. So, uh, so this is a actually a pressure that is coming from the marketplace where customers are actively asking. They're raising their hands and saying, "We want to be part of the conversation." Think about what SAP said about two and a half million contributors in their community. Mm. So, so this represents both a problem if you don't actually manage and deal with it and embrace it, but also a tremendous opportunity if you do. Okay. So that's sort of the, 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 the promise of sort of the connected consumer, the connected customer. Who, who by the way, not only connecting with you, but they're connecting with each other in communities. And that's another powerful idea. Okay. That you can now harness not only customer knowledge, but also community knowledge and the power of community.